In 1980, Iris Global Ministries started with just two people, Heidi and Roland Baker. Today, it encompasses more than 2,000 missionaries, staff, and volunteers. They work in 73 ministry centers in 37 nations, bringing help and hope to the poorest of the poor. Charlene Aaron recently sat down with Heidi to talk about her work and the hope for revival in America. We're so honored to have you with us for the Prayer Link. Prayer Link is a show that we talk about the news, but we don't just talk about it, we pray about what, what is happening in the headlines. Uh, my first Thank question you. for you is about your wonderful book, God's Got This, 40 Devotions of Courageous Faith, highlighting amazing stories from people around the world. What was the motivation and why did you feel it was important to compile such an amazing list of stories? Well, just as we all know, the world's shaking and people have all gone through Every single person on the planet has gone through something hard, something challenging, something painful. But how do we see it through the lens of, of the power of God, the love of God, and how do we as believers comfort one another and use our challenging situations to help other people as well? And so it's, it's really stories of people who have inspired me, courageous faith and they teach me every day. Powerful, powerful what God is doing in your life, Heidi, in Mozambique. You've been there for many years, since 1995. Mm -hmm. And you say right now with the persecution and everything that's going on there that it's the hardest time you've ever been through, but yet the most glorious. It is. Talk about that. Yes. I mean, when you see people that you care about losing their homes um, with this it's a radical insurgent group, in my province where we've lived for many, uh, many, many years. And when you see them losing everything, it really, it's painful and you see so much hunger and people hurting and people who have lost their lives. And so that's painful. And we need to weep with people who weep. At the same time, you see this, the beauty of Jesus in his believers who are just reaching out and making room in their homes. Like I've never mm. seen anything like it around the world where people who have so little are just saying, hey, hey y'all, come live with me. And, wow. and they share absolutely everything. We have over a million internally displaced people wow. now in Cabo Delgado. A million. a million, and there are more coming all the time because of the insurgent attacks. And yet the believers are just opening up their arms and sharing what they yeah. have. God is blessing crops. Obviously there's a lot, we do a lot of food aid as well and bring in the audio solar Bibles, but it's really the, the beauty of the Mozambican mm -hmm. bride mm -hmm. of Christ who teaches us what, what true love and generosity looks like. Thanks God, I love that. Um, with regard to persecution, uh, you've talked about a shaking mm -hmm. that's coming. What's the message for the global church with regards to that right now? Fix your eyes on Jesus. He's the author and the finisher. Mm -hmm. We've lost people we love. They're, they're in heaven. It's like a blink of an eye. And, and sometimes we, we just lose sight of that. We forget the beauty of eternity. Eternity's real. Mm. It's, not, it's not just a fairy tale. We're not just saying kumbaya, you know, it's a fairy tale land. Mm -hmm. No, eternity's real. Mm -hmm. And if we fix our eyes on Jesus and we understand the veil is thin, then we're going to spend the, whatever amount of time we have on this planet shining for Him Hallelujah. and ask Him to just rip fear out of us mm -hmm. so that we can love well. Hallelujah. Amen. What do you think American Christians can learn from Christians in other countries like Mozambique who are being persecuted right now? What do you think we in America can learn from that? 
Should I, we learn? I think fix your eyes on Jesus. Again. Mm -hmm. uh, again, telling stories. People that are very, very close to me that work on our team, Shamoku, Shulumbu, uh, Jose, they've, they lost their homes. Their families lost their homes, their farms, their churches were burned to the ground. But they, instead of just feeling sorry for themselves, which is a natural thing, and there was a lot of weeping, they allowed um, their eyes to get off of their own pain and onto Jesus. And instead of them being victims, mm. um, they <laughs> said, we're gonna go out there and share. Yes. And they lead the teams, the distribution outreach teams. They share this glorious gospel. They go out day and night. These guys have lost family members in this conflict, this conflict, and they share the gospel with people who love them and people who don't yet know um, what love looks like. And they're just fearless in their love. And they say, you just never burn Jesus out of our hearts. Now you can watch Heidi's entire interview on this week's episode of The Prayer Link. It airs at 6.30 Eastern on the CBN News Channel. You can also see it on the CBN News app or simply watch it on